A debate has been raging for hundreds of years on whether God exists. On one side of the issue we have the theists, and on the other we have the atheists. Somewhere in between we have a group of philosophers known as agnostics. A theist is someone who states that he knows or believes that God exists. An atheist claims that he knows or believes that God does not exist. The agnostic argues instead that we do not know or cannot know whether God exists. The agnostic is alluding to some kind of experiment that somehow proves the existence of God. However, science dismisses these three currents of thought as religion. Theism, atheism, and agnosticism are divorced from science, primarily because they are subjective. All three argue from the perspective of belief. A scientist, on the other hand, is someone who explains a phenomenon rationally. A scientific explanation is objective, meaning that it makes no provision for belief or opinion. Here we have a glass. Would it make sense to say that I believe that the glass exists? What if I don't believe or I refuse to believe? Will the glass disappear? Will it cease to exist? How about this glass? If I believe hard enough, will it appear? Will it exist? Belief is subjective. Existence is objective. The moon and the sun were there before life arose on Earth. Certainly our beloved blue planet was there before we came aboard. Or else we'd have no surface to put our feet upon. Belief depends on opinion. Existence stands on its own. Therefore, it is irrational to say that you believe or don't believe that this glass exists. The glass exists by definition, whether you believe or not. Indeed, there is no provision for belief in the definition of exist. More to the point, there is no definition of the word exist. No one has defined the word exist in the last 10,000 years. All you will find in the dictionaries are synonyms. The reason that atheists and theists have been arguing in circles for hundreds of years about whether God exists is that neither side ever defined the word exist. Therefore, anyone who states that God exists or that God does not exist should begin by defining the word exist. Only then can we follow his reasoning. If he can't get past this basic step, his presentation is over. He has nothing to teach you. You would think that those who claim that God exists or that God doesn't exist, as a minimum, would be able to define the word exist. They should be able to tell you what they mean by this word. Otherwise, what have they said? What did they mean when they said God exists or God doesn't exist? Let's begin by defining the word exist scientifically. A scientific definition is one that can be used consistently in a rational manner. Exist. Physical presence. Exist means object that has location. The physical part of this definition alludes to an object. An object is that which has shape. In contrast, 
A concept does not have shape. What is the shape of love, grace, intelligence, information, soul? Therefore, the proposed definition of exist excludes all concepts. If God is alleged to be a concept, this definition of exist makes it irrational to say that God exists. Imagine if people prayed to concepts or asked for forgiveness from concepts or made promises to concepts. Is a concept listening? God can only be said to exist if God is an object. It is the only way we can make sense of the word exist and use it consistently. However, God will have to do more than just be an object in order to exist. God will have to have location as well. The presence part of the definition of exist requires that the object have location. A square is an object. It has shape. However, a square does not have location. It is the paper and the ink which have locations. A square is an object that does not exist. Bugs Bunny, Snow White, and Superman are also objects that don't exist. Of course, there will be those who object to this definition of exist because it threatens their religion. Their task is quite simple. They merely have to provide a rational alternative. If God wants to exist, God's going to have to do something more than just be an object. God's going to have to have location as well. There has to be a distance between God's chest and mine. So, what should we conclude? Does God exist? Of course, yes, God exists. But his name is not Yahweh or Jehovah. His name is Bill Gates.